So we're going to break format a little bit today. I'm not going to do a fancy intro. I'm not going to wait three, four weeks for my release schedule because I thought this particular question that came in my inbox today from one of the subscribers was really prescient. And it has everything to do with incidents, incident reports, synchronizing video, stuff that you as a Genentech Security Center user use every day. So again, this question comes directly from a subscriber. This was unprompted, just a great general question that I'm sure you folks are dealing with pretty much every day. And I'm going to put it up on the screen here and read it to you. Uh, and he basically says, is there a way I can select all of the tiles that are synchronized to a certain time and add all of those to an incident report? So we've gone over incident reports in a prior uh, episode. I'll leave a link down below and up top. Uh, I believe incident reports was a bonus feature contained in my episode on visual tracking. All I have been able to figure out now is how to just do one at a time. And when you have 20 cameras to add to an incident, it's showing very time consuming. That would be true if you were doing it that way. With our current VMS, current VMS, you mean Genentech Security Center? With our current VMS, we do not have to do that and you can just set the start and end time of multiple cameras and it's done that quick. So is there a way to synchronize a bunch of cameras from a bunch of different tiles to the same point in time and contain it in one incident report? Yes, absolutely. Let's dive into Security Desk and show you how to do it. So here we are back in Security Desk. And again, the question is, how do I uh, sync all of my tiles up to the same time in an incident report? So I did an episode on uh, visual tracking that includes how to do an incident report. I'll throw a link down below and up top as well. Um, for those that don't know, incident reports are a great way of uh, not just saving video, right? Anybody could do a quick video export, right? If I just take this tile and hit export video, Right, it's gonna tell me, you know, this is the name of the camera, this is the time, this is the date, this is my file name and, and my file format, right? This is very humdrum, run of the mill, and you can see it defaults me to four minutes and 30 seconds. I can come here and expand this out if I wanted to or shorten it down. I can include other dates and times, right? This is very normal video export stuff, whether it's Genetech Security Center or some other video management system. Or, if I wanted to export the video from all the tiles, I can also hit export video from all tiles. And again, it just grabs the same time and date, the same duration for all the cameras that I have in my current field of view, and it will allow me to export this. An incident report is different. An incident report doesn't necessarily require you to export the video. It literally is a report that you can run. So let's say you're running an investigation. You know, you had a slip and fall or a door forced open or something like this that includes video from multiple tiles. But I want to create a report. I want to write a report. I want to create referenceable items. You would do that in an incident report. So what do I mean by this? Let's say my incident happened on this camera here. Matter of fact, let's pull this back because I have motion detected in this zone. So let's say that's the start of the incident. And that's me getting it, getting into my chair. Pause the video right here, right click the tile and hit start incident recording. Now you see everything in this tile is now part of an incident and the background of the tile has gone red indicating that anything that happens in this tile is going to be part of an incident. So if we hit play here and we let this play out for, for a couple of seconds, uh, you could see, you know, it's it's still red. These tiles are still yellow. If I select them, I can do whatever I want in these tiles. Let me come over here and uh, pick a different camera and drag that into the tile. Now, I switched cameras. As you can see, I'm still in playback and I'm still red in this tile. So now this camera and what I'm watching here, again, part of my playback window, is all being part of this incident. So now if I right click and hit stop incident recording, you can see it brings me to an incident report. What And as you would suspect, write a report. What's the title of the report? What category do you want to drop this report into, right? What's your description, right? So I could put in whatever I want here. And as you can see in references, 
it referenced the two cameras, the Sony Dome and the Access Door Station, as well as the in and out points of the video that I was watching the, the, the video for, right? So I started watching the Sony camera at 9.59.23 and I watched it for 28 seconds and then I flipped over to the Access Door Station and I watched that one for another 18 seconds. And then I can, once I put in a title here and a little description, I can create this incident report and I can also create an email, I can create and export these video sequences, I can protect the video from being deleted for a certain amount of time. I can export the sequences right from here, right? So we give you a ton of options in terms of exporting capability. Um, what I can also do, and this is why incident, incident reports are really nice because in a unified system, you may have Genetech Synergist, which includes access control capabilities. You can add other entities to this. So I might say Dwight was part of this incident. So I'm gonna attach Dwight's card to this incident. Dwight may have come through the front door. So I wanna include the front door as part of this incident. So I can include, you know, license plate recognition cameras, pretty much any entity that was part of this particular incident, I can add as referenceable items to this incident. Now, and you also see what time the incident was, right? So I can, I can change this time down here. I can add other cameras here as well. Um, but this is basically how you create an incident report. Now, once I'm out of the incident report, you'll see a blue bookmark get dropped on the timeline, and that indicates when that incident was created. I can also go to Security Desk and go to my incidents report, run the report. So for me, it's going to be show me all incidents in the last day. There's my incident. And if I drag it into a tile, it's going to play back. And it's going to play back in like a movie. So when we hit the end of the timeline here, you'll see it'll automatically jump to that access camera and watch that for whatever it is, the 18 seconds. So that's really useful because, you know, it allows you to sort of play everything back in the sequence in which it occurred. Now that's all well and good, but the question is, how do I sync up a bunch of tiles to the same point and make that part of an incident? So there is definitely a way to do this. So now the question is, how do I do this in sort of a, a more manual fashion? I've got a number of tiles and I wanna synchronize them all to the same point in time in the video but make them part of an incident. Very simple. In the previous example, all of the incidents were uh, done, or the incident was done sequentially, right? So the subject moved from this camera to this camera to this camera to this camera, and we followed them over the course of time. What if I wanted to do the same thing, create an incident, but only do it for, uh, or only synchronize all the cameras to the same point in time? How would we do that? Very simple. Pick your camera, you know, whatever point in time you want to go to. So we'll go back to this uh, this point in time where the motion was. There I am. I'm going to hit pause, right click, report and incident. I'm going to populate some text here. And now what you see, if I drag out references, that only the Sony dome camera is referenced. Now I know that there are other cameras that I want to reference. So I could simply come here and hit my access door station, add. I'm going to add that access UK camera, add. And that's it. Now all I have to do is hit create. All of them will be synchronized to the incident time. All of them will be synchronized to that point in time that I right clicked and hit the button, right? So I am whatever this is, 9.59.24. All of these cameras will be synchronized to this exact moment in time. So I'll go ahead and hit create and it's done, right? It'll drop another blue bookmark on the timeline indicating that there was an incident there. So now if we go back to incident report, right? And just same search over the last one day period, there's our incident, drag it into a tile. I'm gonna hit pause here for a second. Couple of important things. One, where are the rest of the, where are the rest of the cameras, right? In the previous incident report, they all play sequentially because they're happening in sequential order, right? This the subject moves from this camera to this camera to this camera, and it flows through the normal course of time. In this case, they're all synchronized to the same moment in time. So they're all packed into that same tile. How do we unpack that? Here's a little tip. Whenever you see this eyeball, that means there are multiple entities that are uh, being consumed in this one tile. Click the eyeball and hit unpack. And as you can see, they've all been unpacked. The other thing that you wanna do, again, because all of these are synchronized, is you just wanna synchronize the video. So they all match up to the same point in time. So when you play it back, they all are played back at the same time. Hit play, and there you go.
I've got an incident report that I created from three cameras that are all synced up to the same moment in time in the video. So like I said at the outset, we broke format here because I thought this particular topic would be really prescient for all of you Genetech Security Center users. Do you have a similar use case? Do you have a similar question or a question that I haven't covered in any of these videos and it's got you scratching your head and you're looking at the admin guide saying, where do I find this one thing? Leave me a comment down below, just like this subscriber did, and I will address your questions specifically. Did you like this video? Give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the bell notification to receive notifications when new episodes become available, and we'll see you on the next one.